Welcome to the Gwent Tech Guide, featuring Carinthia's Koshchi deck. The Filed One. The deck's main strength lies in its ability to recycle points from previous rounds. This way, your graveyard becomes one of your most important assets. The following cards are a must-have. Oniromancy, Caranthir Arfanal, Koshchi. The deck is also complemented with heavy point slam units such as Yigern, Red Catrice, and Osral. Always keep Caranthir and Koshchi in your hand. Since ghouls provide the most value on round 2, you can safely mulligan them away to look for gold cards. Here are a few card combo options you have. First up, Cyclops. You can remove high priority targets with either Genken or Red Catris, giving Osral and the ghoul consumed targets. Note that the damage dealt by Cyclops refers to the current strength of a unit, including its boosts. Next up, and drag a larva into Bruxa. This is your main opener, giving you the maximum thrive value. Last but not least, the Crones. Always try to play Brewers and Weavers first, since the 6 damage from Wispus is devastating, especially in round 3. Syndicate is notorious for its removals and directly counters our tempo. For this reason, our main goal in the first round is to force out as much utility from our opponent as we can. After playing Horse on Junior, we know for a fact that our opponent is fully committed to the round. This simply means that we will have to do anything we can to finish on even cards. Here, I try to prepare the road to meet the Sabbath condition. However, our opponent uses Philippa to steal our Rat Catchers, putting us behind in points. But this deck is particularly strong in low card scenarios and, since we are on red coin, we get to dictate the pace of the game. Normally, we want to play Carinthia into Koshchi on round 3, but this matchup is different, since our opponent still has cards like Cleaver and Tunnel Drill, making it very hard to beat in a fair flight. This is the reason we fully committed the round with the leader ability included. Here, our opponent makes the mistake of not destroying our Koshchi and Lori with Horsan, giving us the chance to remove him with Wispus. We finally close out the round with Koshchi. Our goal here is to bleed our opponent's hand to see if we can force him to play high priority cards. Since Genken is a great consumed target for our ghoul, we play both copies. After playing Cleaver, our opponent makes the mistake of passing on equal points while down a card, giving us a free pass. This forces him to surrender and we take away the victory in what otherwise would have been a very tough game to beat. When facing locks and removals, it's always a good idea to drop the defender. When uncountered, the engines rack up ridiculous amount of points with no effort. Note that every relic you play increases the strength of the Red Catrice. Unlike boosts, strength gained during your round will stay on the unit even if moved to the graveyard, making her a perfect target for Osro. Don't wait too long to consume the high strength units in your graveyard, especially in mirror matchups. Here, we use Osro on our opponent's fully buffed Genken, taking away 13 points. This little mistake ended up losing our opponent the game by a small margin. When swarming, make sure to keep an eye out on the row placement. Since our Osro target is in our graveyard, we must risk playing him before we fill the row. Even if our opponent has hard removal, it's still worth the points since we trigger Thrive anyways. Even though the deck has a linear playstyle, you will still be confronted with decisions like these a lot. These might seem like minuscule errors, but it's mistakes like these that can end up losing you games. In general, the deck struggles against removals and pings. If the Sabbath condition is not met, your engines become useless and it can be quite hard to catch up in points. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Until then, how about a round of Gwent?